funny, wasn't he? He's so funny. You know, you just throw out a topic there and Bill can make a story, it's, fashion right in front true, of your eyes. It's my, my son doesn't understand how he's an adult. Like, <laughs> he only knows little Bill, and so the idea of little Bill being an yeah. adult freaks him out. It's a wonderful way to stay in <laughs> touch with uh, people as you go through life. All right. He spent days researching the man that I listen to every morning before our show. You know, I have the Dean Martin records playing. Yeah. And bringing to life incredible memories of the legendary entertainer, Dean Martin. Here he comes, and you'll see him this Sunday night as Dean, as Sean Hayes, as Jerry, and the Dean Martin, the Jerry Lewis story. Here's Jeremy Norton. <laughs> What are you wearing? Uh, some kind of aftershave stuff. No, it's great. Thank you. Wow. She's pregnant. As long as she didn't start eating my skin, that's all right. Eating him alive. <laughs> so, Jeremy, let's talk about this. I think it'd be very daunting to play somebody like Dean Martin. Everybody saw him on TV, but few people knew him in in, uh, in uh, private. You know, he had a very private, private life. Yeah, it is. It, it was daunting, but I suppose that is at the same time that sort of grist the mill to most actors, I think you need a bit of challenge and I mean it's daunting because I think it's the, of course the public, everyone knows him in, his, in their own way sure. and uh, you have to try and get to know him as a, uh, someone who could exist in your own imagination in reality. So how did you research this role? Well we didn't have much time, I started with the songs actually because I wasn't that familiar with mm -hmm. Dean, I mean I, I grew up in England, I still live there and um, although of course Dean is known, he's not known as he is in this country and uh, mm -hmm. I didn't grow up on Sunday nights watching him on variety shows yes. and stuff. so I um, uh, started with the songs really to kind of work out how he made the sound that he did and, yes um, and then there's you know a number of uh, good books particularly the Nick Tosh's Nick Tosh's book yeah. yeah now you know Jeremy used to sing in, in college right uh, sort of like as a singing waiter no, not as a singer. I used to sing in restaurants. In restaurants? We used to clear restaurants. The, oh, you know, they okay. wanted to get rid of... They wanted to close up. Well, and then they used to put us onto the second set and people would stand by the did, door. And you probably saw him sing in Gosford Park, yeah. and I thought you were terrific. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Thank you. So they picked the right man. Well, you know, uh, John Gray, who wrote and directed this, is a, you know, a huge help and helped uh, you know, put one's mind at, at rest and uh, really offered, offered a lot of encouragement. They really made you look like him as well. I mean, uh, looking at you here, you look nothing like him. Well, so there's I a bit of face pulling going on as well. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have enough time for, you know, for all money for, you know, prosthetics. I mean, there were things that one could have done, built up the brows and mm -hmm. done something else with the nose. Or, but I got obsessed with his hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because... Uh, he used them a lot. And he? he had huge boxer's hands, yes. which he mashed up as a young man. Mm -hmm. um, so all his knuckles were broken. Mm -hmm. And I don't have hands like that. So mm -hmm. we tried to make the cuffs a little bit tighter on the shirts and the, the jackets a little bit shorter. And, well, the, the relationship between uh, Jerry and Dean well, was a very complex one. You know, they were two very, very opposite individuals. Yeah. And uh, and Sean Hayes, of course, playing uh, Jerry Lewis. And uh, but it was a great union of, of talents. You know, and uh, frankly, they needed each other when they met. Yeah. And then for ten years, just knocked America out. Mm. They were just absolutely. I saw them here in the Copacabana, and. Uh, Gee, and, and you guys recreated the Copa so well in, 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 at the Copa. But here's Thank a clip you. of, uh, I guess, a uh, personal uh, look at uh, Dean as, as he shows Jerry yeah. around his new when apartment. They really when they started making it started making big, big and it came just like that, and he went out and bought himself an apartment with a dent. Here it is. Hey, well, we should do this more often. You don't get together like this. It's good for the girls. Absolutely, Pammy. This is going to be my dent. My old man used to say he was going to have a den someday. Sit down, put his feet up, read the papers. Nobody can bother him. I do enough haircuts in a day to get one, I guess. What's the matter with you, Pally? You should be on top of the world. Try, I'm not happy. I'll notify your face, because you sure don't look it. Okay, back to show you a little more from the show in just a moment.